hello and welcome back guys with another video today we'll be looking at another build this is a brand new updated build with one unique item that you must have uh, then you can get a transcendent version of this item which make this build, this build even more OP so uh, today build let's take a look at the gears you're gonna be using dual wheel daggers, okay? Uh, you don't you 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 won't need the uh, weapon range, so you can get um, more damage in there or crit damage in there, etc. Okay, when you craft, uh, you need speed, attack, attack, crit damage or crit rate, uh, and that's the how you craft the uh, dual daggers. Um, now we're gonna take a look at the gears, okay? Uh, attack melee yes uh, attacks attacks okay attack speed strike and damage uh, this is going to be elemental build this is not a physical build uh, this is so this is one of the must-have item in order for play this build okay so you will need alkaban mist uh, this what this does is it add nine projectile to your dagger throw and it fires dagger throw in a circle uh, it has increased speed um, but you re you get a reduction of damage uh, like a lot like a 30 percent damage divide dividend divide dividend dividend is like divided uh, like it's 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 not a multiplier it's, it's the reverse of multiplier it's dampening multiplier okay meaning reduction multiplier so you get 30 percent damage uh projectile damage dampening uh but you gain nine projectiles and it hit in circles uh three hoops uh cast the refractions i uh, give the crit rate crit damage right there and resource cost reduction um charms let's look at the charms uh charms you want is going to be caster lil and vesper okay so you need those three uh, the skills only require three. Uh, you can only get three. So there's that. Okay. Uh, and here's what I'm wearing. Okay. Uh, now we're going to look into uh, the zodiac. So zodiac uh, of one. I went there. Two. I went for poison. Uh, three. I went for gold for projectile, projectile damage, right? Elemental damage. And then uh, I took a stem, stem for the elemental damage amp. And then I went for uh, this right here uh, to get some mana on hit, right? Which is great. Six, six. I went for uh, deep breath and. Uh, the five five percent projectile damage um some attack speed uh, uh i don't have to take that i can just go all of this right here which is good too so i can get the enhanced rune effect right uh, i can do that as well and then i took steel on dual wheel and seven eight right there right uh you don't want to take these guys because it's gonna reduce your damage even more okay so i took that on and then do a wheel down here and then do a wheel here stench and then uh the element uh, damage amp there and then i went for all of the poison side right and then i took uh penetration here right um there's that uh i can then now use i believe i can now use this to get a little bit more damage uh damage in so we can now use where is the I had it. Give me a second, guys. 
I'm trying to see if we can get this zodiac uh, zodiac stone right there so you want the zodiac stones on 8 to be the damage penetration so you get a little bit of damage there so make sure it's moon uh, if it's moon is this node right here um, for penetration so that's 8% more damage and uh, damage pen which is also damage f uh, throughout the whole skill uh, which is great so that's the zodiac then we look at the relics now relics uh, you're gonna run uh, Sepdar is one uh, the second one is going to be um, Leo you want Leo for the uh, attack speed uh, if you don't want the attack speed then you can go for projectile damage and projectile speed right here okay uh, but Leo is the second one and then next one would be the uh, Hamao uh, Hamao give you the uh, poison penetration uh, that's what you want so that's one two three and the last one you just pick uh, Boreal for the HP if you like um, there's that and then mastery 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 you want 9 10 10 and then alchemy you want uh, all the potions okay into the last one this one's important and then uh, now we take a look at the skill breakdown skill breakdown uh, is in the thumbnail it's gonna be dagger throw with uh, charge release so the fact using charge release is for a little extra damage plus you're getting the shock effect uh, so you amplify damage even more uh, with enemies that have shock uh, effect status on there and um, I've increased a lot of projectile so both skill has a lot of projectile um, so first thing first you need spell activate on attack hit trigger and then you need the multi shot multi shot again the multi shot effect so again you get way more the multi shot uh, or projectile count okay and then uh, chain so then the chain will come to eight uh, instead of uh, the three it comes to eight chain so not only has lots of multi mul multiple projectile count it's also chain and then I put in harmony for a little bit more damage and then confidence for a little bit more attack speed and damage and then I went for deadly poison deadly poison is the best damage amp for venom uh, since the skill does stack venom so you want to stack the venom status effect and then you want to stack the um, the uh, lightning status effect okay there's that one and then uh, you still crit uh, Adam and domain you know crow for moving faster um, clear my faster roll for more penetration again for more movement speed faster so condensed marksman is another one that you want uh, to gain the projectile uh, damage amp it's gonna increase both skill damage um, you can go release but you know release is like it's good as well uh, but you're getting the hit rate on uh, projectile or on marksman which is great so you got to pay six runes for those guys and then tenas, or if you want siphon life, doesn't matter. And I took counter attack to um, get a little bit of, you know, energy. Uh, you can also use other skill like blood explosion, convert to fire, so you can get, um, you know, fire energy as well. So there's that. But it's all about mana control, so you're trying to have mana control as much as you can. Okay. And then a uh, projectile excel. On charge release, you want mana storm, projectile excel. You want to go faster. Uh, you don't want it to go slow. You want to go to fat faster, at least the same speed as uh, dagger throw. Uh, if you don't want to use harmony, if it's too difficult, then the rune suggestions I I suggest you use would be the D cell, the projectile D cell, this the, the deceleration. Right, you can use that. Um, it reduces the speed of the pressure cell, but uh, as I said, I give you um, 20, 20 max level would be like 30. Yeah, so 20, 21 damage, uh, 26 damage amplification 
uh, projectile damage implication. With the awake, with the awaken, uh, you would get um, eighty percent more damage. Um, so that's eighty percent more damage. So it bring this down to about the same speed as charge release. Um, roughly around the same. So 19 and 12. Right, 19 and 12. Okay. Uh, you can run that to get extra damage. If you have enough attack speed, then you can just remove confidence, add in harmony. Uh, so, but if you don't have enough attack speed, uh, try to, comp try to um, you know, compensate with that. Okay. So play around with it, and then I have this one, and then this one. All right. So now we're gonna take a look at the mapping process. Make sure everything's on, and then we're gonna go. As you can see, it's going ham on the whole map. So so it stacks a ton of venom. Um, you want it to stack a lot of venom. Uh, the fact that it chain, uh, so it can you can just stand in one spot and you can clear basically pretty much off screen. <laughs> it's it's crazy when you get the transcendent version of the Alcubin Mist. I'll show you guys that once uh we clear this this map right here. This is this skill is great for trash mobs. Um, if you guys are, if you guys like are fighting like a legend or a rare, uh, I mean a rare or a, 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 a yellow or a blue mobs. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, you guys can then just use a uh, projectile amp or prop marksman and then release element or release condense condense sorry condensed element and then you just buff and it just nukes everything the fact that the skill can chain um it's it's wild this build will, will help you guys pro pro progress uh with the statues quite fast Uh, but you need the item in order to uh, make this thing 360 pretty much It's a uh, required for the item It just clear trash mob so good. Like the range is like so far. This build has some crazy potentials. It's unlocked. 
I almost died there due to stun lock and black hole. The range is crazy on this one, guys. It's just it just chained to everything, and then charge release just like stacking damage. Give it a try, guys. I I think you guys will like this build. Uh, if you if you have any questions, please leave in the comments. Um, though the attack is only strike. Uh, attack strike. Um, poison and projectile. So you're not getting a lot of uh stuff from. Um, I mean, I don't even need to be near the boss. I just kite it around. This is this is crazy. Yeah, so give it a try, guys. Tell me what you think. It's beautiful. I mean, look at this. Like, let's go see some some dummy testing. So yeah, so basically the belt turn the skill 360. Um, and if you have a another skill that has 360, like a spell or anything that has 360. Uh, like like charge release, put it in there and try it out. Because you you want to see see how big look look at this. This is this is nutty. <laughs> this is this is crazy. Look. <laughs> so give it a try, guys. Tell me what you think. It's a bunch of like charges and, and and daggers everywhere um it chains though you cannot pierce but it, at least it chain so I, that's why i put chain ring ruin in there so it increased the chain uh at least increase the chain count and it at least give me some damage like at least 15 damage amp okay so chain count i'm getting three chain five chain count um so the range is nothing, but it's all about the chain count. So as soon as uh, one dagger hit, it will chain it to eight enemies. So, so yeah, give it a try, guys. Tell me what you think. You, you like again, you're stacking venom all the way to 10, 11 stacks, uh, and then you have shock as well. So at this point, you're just doing a lot of damage. So yeah. And going the uh, dawn, you get double hit chance. Uh, double double hit. So you can see that my stats. Yeah, I'm getting uh, about fifteen percent chance. Okay, six percent chance for triple. All right. So give that a try, guys. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, this this build is nutty. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Alright. Have a good one, guys. Uh, one more thing before I go. Um, the uh, transcendent item that you uh, want. Sorry guys, almost forgot, almost forgot. Alright, so the Transcendent Alcubin Mist Belt. This is the one you want. Uh, it takes away the dampening, basically. And it gives more speed than the dagger's projectile return. So basically when you throw it, instead of it going, going one out all the way, it's going to return, so it's going to do double hit. Meaning that if anything that's caught in the middle, it's going to get double hit coming back. So you're going to hit once coming out and once coming back. So this is going to be uh, pretty crazy to test out. But once you have it, it's going to be very, very good. Um, so give that a try, guys. 
uh, let me know what you think and then uh, yeah have a good one